In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can erase part of an image using Adobe Illustrator. Now, this is something that's normally reserved for pixel-based editors like Photoshop, but thanks to the masking feature, we can do this in Illustrator as well. So in order to do this, you'll want to create a new document, as you can see here on my screen, and then import the image into Illustrator. You don't want to actually open the image with Illustrator because what we're going to do won't work if you do it that way. So open a new document like you see here, and I'm going to take my image and just click and drag it onto the canvas like that. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let me grab this image and move it out of the way. Let me grab the, uh, the artboards tool, which is, uh, if I could find it right here, keyboard shortcut is shift O and I'm going to click on the image right there just to add a new artboard. And then I'm going to click on the original artboard and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. So now we have this image here in the middle. Okay. So what I will do now is grab this selection tool. Make sure you have the image selected as you see here, and then open up the transparency window by going to window and selecting transparency. Okay. So what I want to do now is making sure you have your image selected. If you have your image selected, you should see it in the thumbnail preview here. What I'm going to do is click this button right here that says make mask. And then I'm going to un uncheck the button that says clip. And then I'm going to click on this white thumbnail right here. Now, if you notice, we have two different thumbnails. We have the, the, uh, the image and then we have the mask. Okay. We, right now we have the image selected. So any edits that we make will be applied to the image. We want to have the mask selected. So I'm going to click on the mask and now we have the mask selected. So anything that we, anything that we put on this layer with the color black will become transparent on this image. So basically what we could do is we can grab a black paintbrush and use it to partially erase this image. So I'm going to grab the paintbrush over here. Make sure that your stroke color is black, all the way black. As you can see here, zero, 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 click OK. And now what you want to do is just simply draw like that. And if you see what happened there, the image where I drew became transparent as the white artboard is showing beneath it. So let me undo that by pressing Control Z. I want to make this brush a little bigger by using my right bracket key. As you can see, I'm holding the right bracket key and the brush cursor is growing larger. You can use the left and right bracket keys to increase and decrease the size of the brush. And I'm just going to trace around this really quickly. I'm not trying to make this precise for anything. I just want to show you how this feature works. I'm going to trace around this like that. And there you go. I just erased part of that image. Now, if you see what happened here in the thumbnail preview, we have this black outline because this represents the mask. Okay. So let's go to the selection tool now. Right now, I still have the mask layer activated. So if I grab the selection tool, I can click and drag this and move it around like that. But if I want to go back to editing the image, I can just click on the image thumbnail and now I can move the image around like this. And as you can see, we have that partially transparent or that, that transparent area right there. So let me press control Z to put that back. Now, if you want to go back to editing the image, you could just select the thumbnail over here again, and now you can continue on editing your image. And this works with any black object. It doesn't have to be a paintbrush like I just did right here. You can create like a rectangle if you want, and you can make that rectangle. Let me get rid of the, the uh, stroke fill. You can make that rectangle black as well. Actually, you know what? Let me fill it in here through the color menu. And then you end up with transparency on this image just like that. So it doesn't have to be a brush stroke. It could be any kind of black object. And again, you can go back to the thumbnail. You can move it around. You can see that that is indeed transparent right there. Okay. Now, the good thing about this is that it's non-destructive, meaning if you want to undo all of what you did here, all you have to do is click this button right here that says release. And now it will no longer be partially transparent. You could take this and move this out of the way. Get that out of there like that. And there you go. Now you have your original image. So that is how you can go about erasing part of an image using the masking feature in Adobe Illustrator.